I run a research group at the University of Westminster, the Translational Physiology Group, just to name drop that and get that in there. Um, and we explore how the external environment affects the internal physiology, so how diet, exercise, and environmental stimuli affect homeostasis and health. And my particular interest is in healthy aging. How can people stay healthy for as long as possible? And not just live longer, but stay healthier for longer as well. And we do that with both in vitro and in vivo models. So we grow muscle cells or gut cells or fat cells in vitro. And we also look at the whole body human, looking at muscle and fat and gut function and physiological function and whole body fitness as well. I did a sports science degree for my first degree, uh, mostly because I thought it sounded like fun and it sounded like the easiest option because I didn't want to be a scientist going into my undergrad. I had no idea what it wanted to be. And I got lucky. I absolutely got lucky that I enjoyed doing what I did and I had good supervision that made me interested in research. Whilst traveling in the UK, just backpacking around, I um, had coffee with a friend of a friend from New Zealand who ran a lab here in London. And we talked for hours and he got me to help out with a bit of teaching here and there because he had spare time and we talked about research and at some point he finally said, would you stop talking about it and do it? Come help me in the lab and we'll do a PhD here. So we did. I do think my work is exciting. It's interesting and it's fascinating and I enjoy it. There's a moment in time when you know something and no one else does and then you get to tell them that and you spread the word and that's what science is. If you're considering a career in physiology, I think pursue what's interesting. Oh, that's what I did and I ended up somewhere I didn't expect but it was where I wanted to be when I got there.